Oh hello again, it's Mike Downs here and this video is recorded on Saturday the 30th of July 2016. Now in the picture that you see, which is on my logo, there's a tree and it's a black and white tree. Now what we're going to do today is, this is a longer video so I'm going to take my time but I want to get it done as soon as possible, you know, at a learner's pace. So the title is The Knit Collection and we're talking about how you can get some black and white knowledge and practice. So at the end of the lesson in a typical teacher's way, there are three objectives I've put down here and we're going to look at some help. First part, middle part is the knit collection itself and then the last part, which is the probably the majority, is to use, with no prior knowledge, how we can get Silver Effects Pro to create some pretty good black and white images. Not good because I say so or because you say so, but generally as a technical thing. This video also sets up my um, camera in the field. So what I'm doing here is I'm just getting organized to go straight through to my main desktop. So what we're going to be working with to get stuck in, first thing is the background. So what we find here is if you know nothing about the Nick collection by Google, and it's a phenomenal piece of software, it was also hundreds of dollars. And on the 24th of March 2016, um, Nick came out and they said, hey, you can have this for free. And you can see there's a ton of, you know, plus ones and comments and things on there. So what happened was that on the website itself, you can go in and you can see that it says the Nick collection is now free, learn more. And the one that we're talking about is the Silver FX Pro. And it's a quite a complicated thing. And that's why me being a purist photographer wants to completely simplify it. So getting this part over with, they are suggesting a workflow, in other words, a one to six thing. And you can, all of these links, by the way, will be in the, the YouTube description. So they are talking about noise reduction, um, Beveza 2 for the color, and then the part that I'm looking to do is number five, which is Silver Effects Pro. And the way you get started with the software, and that is that they are saying that you can host it, uh, or you should host it rather, in Photoshop, Lightroom, Aperture and Photo Elements. Now, there is a back door to that, which I will show you, but it doesn't work for all parts of it. And the last bit on this section, all I want to say is Nick Software Lessons at the top here have made, where is it, where is it? Down here somewhere, you can tell it's a weekend. Here we go, Silver Effects Pro has 13 videos. They are really, really good, so I'm not looking to do anything in them that replaces anything. So quite honestly, out of all this lot, the only one I want is this suggested workflow. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of those and then minimize. So we're gonna go on to the next part of the lesson, and that is really simple in that when you download, and I'm using Windows 10, is we have got a directory which sits on your hard drive which says Google Nick Collection. Now there is analog color defined to HDR sharpness, silver effects and Viveza 2. Now what I've done here, and I'm just going to swap over to another slide, and that is that you can see on here that we've got on my testing that if you open the program up whether you can get an image in it and save it. Now you can see that the ones that we want to use, uh, which is Silver Effects, it is a yes by it. So let me just uh, dial in exactly you know, what we mean by that. So, so what you do is that you click it, and I'm just gonna reach over and hit enter, and then you can see it says Silver Effects Pro and you've got a .exe, and I'm gonna hit enter there again. So what happens is that when this piece of software opens up, and I've tried this very much this way, and there we go. And what you'll see on screen is Silver FX Pro 2, and it says File, Open Images. Now, if you hit Open Images, you can take an image, a JPG file from your hard drive and do the business and save it in Silver FX Pro. But I would say that if you've got access to something like, and let me just, just close that so I can keep up to the lesson. So what I need to do now is say the way I do it, is to go into Photoshop, and I'm using Photoshop, I've got it written on a bit of paper here, Photoshop uh, CS5 and it's version 12. If you do go out there in the marketplace, I believe they're up to version 17, which is called um, CC. In other words, it could be CS7. So in other words, this thing that I've got here that I got quite a few years ago works absolutely fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is see that on the right hand side there is a 
standalone floating plug-in thing which is all to do with Nick. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that and go over and I'll make sure that my voice goes at a steady pace and that is that on this file manager we're going to be working with an example image today and the art, the image that you're, you're talking about is this one and you notice when it opens up um, that is this is a, a Nikon NEF file in other words it's a raw file as I stood out there on this beautiful um, church green almost like like a village green it looked like this now if I advance the slide that is the Silver FX Pro image or one of them that I did and that's where we want to get to today there's another one which is the JPG notice the sky I'm going to try and taste lay off the details because I'm talking about Nick collection today there's a cropped version there is in black and white and there it is the black and white with the black border around the outside so that's where we want to get to and let's try and get there so what we need to do first of all taking it from the very beginning is we need to say that this is a blank area so what we want to do is drag an image in so the one I'm going to be working with today is the 2021 JPG I will do a separate video on raw and NEF files and maybe Adobe Bridge and things like that the point of this is to teach that anyone for free can use Nick Collection to create some striking black and white images so the image is loaded normally and this is why I like using it in the Photoshop area is that I would normally use define 2 to reduce the noise reduction that's what I would normally do I'm not going to do it today because I want to speed this thing up if the image is looking extremely poorly then I will go in and I will use Viveza 2 and that will just change the brightness, add a little bit of saturation, but I'm, I'll say right now, and I've got a separate video coming on this, I am not one of these photographers that wants to spend eight hours in Photoshop doing an image. I believe that it should be front head loaded with the camera on that village green taking the photo. That is where I believe that you know 90% of your energy should go in. So getting along with this, we click Silver Effects Pro. You'll notice they all gray out and then it goes to load so while we're doing that we can just look around to make sure that we can just stand around here and I can have a breather because I'm doing this in real time so for whatever reason it ends up like this and you you know be patient with the software because in real time like this you'll get quite a few of these scaling bars and preparing bars before it opens now what I wanted to do and this is why I want to set up my project of my camera in the field is to say I want to get an image place it in Silver Effects Pro and in one click get the finished image okay so at the moment let, let's just look at this it opens up and I'm assuming there is you know no prior knowledge to this and even if you know a bit about it then you know by all means look over my shoulder and carry on so, so what we've got here is a level which says there are 38 presets and what I did you know back in March time you can tell that between March and July there's quite a few months is I went through the whole lot of them and I can go in and if you want to learn how to Silver FX Pro works then quite honestly there's no point in me making a video about it go and look at one on the official channel in one click I can go in here and I can change this image and I can go through the whole lot and you'll notice that this one here, wait a second, 005, which is called a high structure, is starting to get to something that I have personally chosen. Now, I, I can't tell whether that's good or not. I might think it's good, but who, who knows? So th the bottom line is you go through and you look at all of these 38, and some of them are quite, um, should we say, interesting with their, you know, the pinhole look and stuff like that. Then I've gone down and I've favorited some. So I've chosen eight which I thought were pretty okay. I've used, and I'm giving this away now, you know, for me, and that is 24, which is a full contrast, um, a 28 occasionally, but the one that I've really got, oh, sorry, I'll just do it from the top, let's do it properly. Number five, the high contrast, and I can click here. If you ever want to undo this, you just go down to um, History tab, and it tells you where you've been. So for the purpose of this, I want to start off, I want to say, right, number 15, is my finished product it's the thing that I like that I've chosen a combination between 15 and 24 
And what I've started to do is I've gone along and I've said actually 15, this is preset number 15, and then I've hit the little plus buttons, which is up here, and I've created a custom template, shall we say, a custom setting for me. And I've used number 15, and I've also used number 24 when I get down to it. And, and what I found is by the more images that I took, the more images I looked at, I was really not sure that between 15 and 24 was possibly the right thing for me, not in all images, but in some. And for that reason, what I actually did is I, I went along, and I'm just looking for my paper notes on this one, here it is, and what I did is on, on a longhand pad, is I came al along, and you'll see my notes on screen now, is where I literally looked at the right hand settings, and I said, hold on a second, what is 0, 15, and I wrote all the values down, what is values say 24 and then I hand crafted the combination between the two and I just wondered what it looked like and as a secondary point I did the same for film over here on the right hand side so going back to um, the Windows 10 again what we've got on the right hand side let me just go down to um, the 1524 which was this one here and on the global adjustments on the right hand side what we've got you can see is brightness contrast and we've got all of these numbers Look, you know, in the video on that, those notes pages, I've made those numbers available. You you might look at them and you think, oh, goodness, I, I really don't like that. Then make up your own. If you do want to go from one-click photography um, from an image, which, remember, was something like, and I can go back down to, if I cancel this, I can go back down to um, this image here, which was the color image, and in the one-click, I can get to where I want to go. So quite honestly, I think this is this video over. You know, suffice it to say that um, we can take one image and we can create it in one click by saving a custom into, and I'm just going to bring this down a second. Um, the great thing is that is we've been 12 minutes and quite honestly, I could fumble around here, but I want to finish it. So there's my image. Here is the finished image by using Nick Collection and then doing it yourself to something like that. Now I've got tons more of these to come, but this one really was, and let me just remind myself, because I think I should finish this video now, we've had enough, meaning that if we go back to say that I've just covered Nick Collection help, where, can, where to get it from the web, and I'll put the links in. We've opened Nick Collection, I've shown you that we can do it as a standalone, or in hosted in something like Photoshop. Then I've gone on to say here's a sample image, and then we put it over to a black and white image. So I'm going to finish it there. Anything else I add will be in text in the description or on a blog post accompanied. But please, 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 on the bottom part here, it says, send me your images if you have a go at this. And there's my contact details. So to finish it off, I'm afraid in the, the way that I'm really trying to get used to now is to say subscribe to my channels for the updates. And then in the normal way, I will take you off to my out slide and this example I could say here is one of those images that I created in Silver Effects Pro.